All right, it's Friday morning. I'm back at the house. I'm meeting a flooring guy here, someone that a friend of ours recommended. She's renovating her house and she um, she's using this guy for her floors. So she suggested that we, you know, have him come and give us a quote for refinishing all of the, of the wood floors in the house. We were debating Dan's trying to save money where he can, which is great. Um, so we're debating whether or not to sand the floors ourselves and then just have a professional come in and stain it. Dan kind of wants to do the whole thing, but I really want them to be done well and I don't want to have to live with any like rookie mistakes or just like not the right finishings. I don't know. I would rather have a professional do it. So we're just going to get a quote and see what he says. I thought he'd be here by now, but he's not. I have Larabelle with me. Can you say hi? Evie is back home with um, my mom because my uh, sister dropped off her son. So Evie and her cousin are hanging out hi. today. I know she just fell asleep in the car, so she probably doesn't want to be awake. So when that guy gets here, we can start talking about floors, but I think what I'm gonna do while I'm here, well, I wanted to show you guys what the outcome of the kitchen nightmare yesterday was. So we were able to get this, you know, detached from the wall and pull it forward. I thought this was two separate cabinets, but it's just one long piece of cabinetry. So we cut out the part in the back that was kind of rotted. So this also will come out, um, but otherwise it's in pretty decent shape. So we'll just replace that piece there put a new bottom on and then sand um, all the sides and then back here it really looks much better than you know it was looking but another good thing we discovered is that we'll probably be able to instead of scraping up each individual linoleum tile which is super sticky and really brittle we'll probably be able to come in like right under here and then just sort of like lift up big sections of it and just leave obviously the subfloor. So in the pantry are all of these really awesome shelves, but as you can see, lots of contact paper. So I think I might take these out uh, today while I'm here and just try to like, I don't know if even some of it is worth saving or if I should just replace the wood. I might just replace the wood to be honest. I don't know if these are really worth like sanding and trying to salvage this little hanging thing. I think I might just give that to Dan to use in the garage or something. It kind of gets in the way here. I understand what they were going for here, putting like little cans and stuff, but I just feel like it kind of is in the way. But it's a nice deep pantry and the wood floors will go all the way in here, which I'm excited about. That was something that Dan was like, when, when he was talking about sanding himself, I was like, you're gonna have to sand in every single closet, around every edge. And he's like, oh, we don't have to do the closets. And I was like, oh yes, we do. Yikes. Oh my gosh. Nothing that a little cleaning and paint can't fix. But this is actually a really nice piece of furniture, like, you know, storage. So who knows where that'll end up, but it's not staying in here. It's too cramped. But this is actually really nice that the shelves are set back like this because I could probably fit my vacuum in here and it would fit really nice. This is really a deep pantry. Oh my gosh. Everything looks so scary just as is, but. I know once we get it all cleaned up and everything is, all the floors are in there, it'll look totally different. So, right, the, the worse the before, the better the after. So these are all the shelves I just took out. They're definitely not worth saving and they're like wrapped in <laughs> contact paper, like a present, every side. I'll just cut new pieces of wood to put in there for the shelves. And then we could even adjust them. We could have some like higher or lower. Yikes. So scary looking. <laughs> hey guys, it's Sunday afternoon. We are at the house working. We just had church and lunch and now our electrician is here to assess our like electrical box that's in the basement to see what kind of like voltage we need. I don't know, I have no idea <laughs> what any of that stuff, how that all works, but we need the electrical to be you know up to date for the bathroom of course and also for the kitchen and pretty much everything else because um, it was kind of like double tapped when we bought the house, so they just need to, I think, give us a bigger box. Um, but I'm trying to work in the kitchen. I'm really excited. I found my um, 
sander because I need to sand the cabinets and it was packed and I had no idea where it was. But it was like really easy to find. I just went in the garage and it was like right there. So that was nice little find. But I have no sandpaper. So um, I do want to do that hopefully this week when they're working on everything else. Start sanding the cabinets. Um, I have Lara here with me. Lara, say hi. Can you say hi? <laughs> Uh, my Evie is with a good friend of ours. She offered to take Evie so that um, she could hang out with her buddy and then we can work. So that was really, really sweet of her. We we're very appreciative of that. So um, we're hoping actually today, if we can, to take up the linoleum that's on the floor in the kitchen. It's disgusting. And you guys, I feel like I need to do a little explaining with the kitchen. So we weren't planning to do the kitchen right away. We were going to wait and do it like after the bathroom was totally done, but because the bathroom got delayed, we had like a week of extra time and I didn't want to waste it. So we started in the kitchen. But um, you know, as we started pulling the cabinets out and taking off the countertop and discovering the water damage, that led us to like keep going with the kitchen. We were planning to do all of the things we we're doing, taking off the rotted drywall and the removing the cabinet base and sanding the cabinets and painting them and all that. We were planning to do all that. It's not like we weren't gonna do it. We just thought we would do that after the bathroom, but that's okay. They're just kind of happening simultaneously. Um, but I think, I don't know you guys, I'm a little bit concerned. I think you guys need to take like all of my design thoughts and suggestions with a grain of salt because they are changing like constantly. Every, like every day I'm coming across something else I like and it's just so hard to pick one style like when we have so many rooms to do all at once. So like with the kitchen, I was thinking of keeping the wallpaper and trying to work with it and maybe, you know, yada yada yada. But I'm very concerned with like, there's definitely an odor in this house because it's an older home. It's been sitting around since April. It's been on the market for a long time. And it's just been like sort of closed up and it's a little, a little stinky. So I'm a little bit concerned that the scent is gonna be like trapped inside the wallpaper because even if we do everything and the floors are done and everything is like fresh and new, the scent could still be lingering if it's stuck in the wallpaper because I can't, like the walls will be painted and the floors will be refinished but the wallpaper, I guess I could wash the wallpaper but is it worth the effort? So, as cute as I think it is, I really think it's adorable. I don't know, I might have to take it down. Do I work the kitchen finishes around the wallpaper or do I take down the wallpaper and do, you know, something different? Like, I don't wanna base my decisions on the wallpaper, I guess is kinda of what I'm getting at. And then the scent on top of it, I don't know, it might be coming down. We'll see. So we're hopefully, Dan's with the electricians right now, but I don't think that they're like doing anything today. I think they're just kind of like assessing. So hopefully when he comes back up, we can start. I want to get all the laminate out of the kitchen. I really want to do that today, but I don't know. We'll see. And just for fun, or at least I think this is fun, this is the toilet that we picked. The American Standard. And if you want to hear how ridiculous I am, do you know why I picked this one? Aside from the fact that it seemed to have good flush capability, literally because of this handle. <laughs> Every other one I looked at were like a little bit too modern and this one was like the most, I don't know, classic style and I liked that it was square on the top. Yeah, that's why I picked it. Very helpful. A full sheet. Woohoo! Yeah. It's probably still nailed on the bottom. 
Lara, hey cool kid. Lara, look up here. <laughs> hey cool girl. <laughs> That's some pretty good progress right there. Now we just got one more, probably those big sheets here, and then probably one there, one there, and then one in the back there. But yay, that makes me so happy to see the subfloor and not this. Yes, yes. So Dan cut this so that he didn't rip up the radiator along with it because it goes through the, the floor. That's why he cut that. Yeah, that is coming off Wednesday. Yes, the this will be coming, gone Wednesday. So get it eliminated. quits we got a good amount done we got most of the kitchen uh sub flooring up so that's awesome dan did an amazing job so we're gonna go to my parents have dinner and then we gotta go go still pick up evie at her friend's house um at our friend's house her friends our friends so uh yeah i'm really excited like dan was saying we have the uh the plumbers the ac guy is coming tomorrow monday right and then also our contractor to do the truss in the attic. Tuesday, our electrician might be coming to do some electric work, which means when, also our tub comes in on Tuesday, which means they can, hopefully. No, I think, I think it's on its way. Or my tile's on its way. I know I got that email from Home Depot. So the floor tile for the kitchen, is for the bathroom, is uh, on its way. Um, but I think Wednesday or Thursday, they're gonna start putting the sheetrock back up in the bathroom. So that is very exciting. It'll start to look like a room again. So that's it for the weekend. That's everything we got accomplished. And we're gonna keep working tomorrow. We'll see you then. Bye. Lara, can you say bye-bye? Bye. Say bye, Dan. Bye. Bye.